You know that one game, Bed Wars? Yeah, I'm really bad at it. But if I build my own Bed Wars map, I'll never lose. I am starting to think this might be a lot harder than I expected. Now a Bed Wars map consists of three things. The spawn islands, the generators, and the main island. I'm gonna start with the spawn islands, then work my way up to the most difficult one, the main island. The spawn islands are about 10 blocks away, so over here I'll make a rough island shape. Actually, I think that this island is too close to the main one, so... I'll shift the island out a few more blocks, then I'll make the basic outline of the island. It'll look pretty lame if I just use stone, so I'll sprinkle in cobblestone, and aside and gravel. Okay, maybe not gravel. Then there's got to be a layer of grass on top. That looks pretty good, but now I need to replicate it seven more times. Or I could just do it later. I'll make each island a different biome, and for this one we can do a normal plains biome. We've already covered the floor and grass, so we can start working on adding a bunch of trees and bushes. The trees are rather easy to make. All I need is a sapling and... Then I'll spam a bunch of leaves around. Since this is a plains biome, I think it'll be cool if I make a cleric tower right in the middle. Bidwars islands always have dispensers with iron and gold, so I'll do the same. And last of all, we'll kill a bunch of green sheep for a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So now we can start working on the next biome, and I'm thinking it should be a desert biome. I'm gonna need a bunch of sand. Oh my! I also need cactus and... Oh, perfect. When I made the plains island, I used four shulker boxes of materials, which is... A lot, so I'm gonna make this island hollow and hopefully it'll take me less time and resources. I think it looks decent, but I wanna add some stone closer to the bottom and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now I'll take the rest of the sandstone I mined and make the top of the desert pyramid. I'm out of sandstone, so I'm just gonna cover the unfinished parts with sand to make it look like the temple is buried. Then I'll cover the entire island with a layer of sand as well. And I'll plant cactus around. Oops. Then add a bit, and that's two islands done. So we've had an island without water, but what if we made an island with too much water? I'll start with a base layer of stone. Instead of making it look like it's been ripped from the ground like the other two, I'm gonna make it flat so it looks like it's been plucked directly from an aquarium and put into my Minecraft world. Huh? What on earth? For the sides, I'll make them entirely out of glass, and I'll finish it off with slabs on top. I've decided to leave it open because it's a cool concept. Totally not because I can't be bothered to cover the top. So far, every island I've made has a structure, so for this one, I'm gonna make a shipwreck. From the photos of shipwrecks I've seen online, I don't think there's a specific way to make them, so I'm just gonna place wood and hope it looks good. I can only fit half the shipwreck inside the tank, so that's all I'm gonna make. And I'll add a mask sticking out of the water. I don't want the shipwreck to be floating, so I'll use coral to support it. Then I'll add some more coral, seagrass, kelp, and some tropical fish. Wait, where does the bed go? Can I still sleep in it? With these three islands, this project is already starting to look pretty cool, but we still have five more to go, so I want to start making some faster progress. The next biome I'm going to make is going to be end-themed, so I'll make the island look like the end island. Um, that looks like a beach ball. Let me try again. I don't think it's gonna get better than that. And if you're wondering why we skipped one island, it's because the end stone looked too much like sand and I didn't want them to be too close. At the back of the island, I'll build a small end city. Then I'll extend it upwards like this. And just like an actual end city, I'll place shelters to guard the entrance. I know full well that these shulkers will eventually be full of trash. I'll plant chorus fruit all around the island, then on the edge I'll add some small obsidian pillars to replicate the main end island, and I'll add end crystals on some of them. Is this safe? So far we've made an end island and some overworld islands, so the next island is gonna be a red nether biome. It's gonna have netherrack for most of the island, with red netherrack at the top. I'll make a nether fortress coming out of it, so I'll outline a square and make a door here, like that. This side will have another door, then we can build up the walls around it. Inside the fortress, there's this lava well. Now I want to make my fortress broken at the end just like the real thing, so I'll randomly place blocks. Yeah, that looks good. Then at the bottom of the island, I'll make another section leading outside, like this. I'll plant some trees around the island to make it look less empty, and I'll make a nether portal at the side too, just to make it look similar to when a speedrunner enters the nether. Then we'll jump over here and make the blue nether biome, just like that. But instead of making a fortress, I'll make a sort of ruined bastion. It's kind of tricky because I'm making it diagonal. And finally, I'll have a ruined portal over here. This island is going to be a mesa biome, so I'll add a layer of regular terracotta, then brown terracotta, 
Then white terracotta. Yeah, you see where this is going. It looks kind of weird, so I'll make a small hill. And because it's a mesa, there should be mine shafts coming out of it. So it's fences at the bottom, then wood at the top. Mine shafts have rails inside them, so I'll do the same, then add a few cobwebs around. Then down here we have another mine shaft, but since it's lower than the first one, I'll use deep slate instead of stone and just spam glow berries. The first mine shaft had stone, the second had deep slate, and this one will have scalp. The last biome is going to be the most dangerous of all because I'm going to make it deep dark themed. So the island will be covered in scalp. In another video, I made the entire ancient city safe, so now I can just grab a bunch of scalp. This is too easy. I've been debating between making the island out of deep slate or skulk, but now I think I'll make it out of both with deep slate at the bottom gradually changing to skulk on the top. Oh wait, I built this island diagonal to the main island, so I'm gonna have to make my build diagonal as well. So for the main frame, I'll place deep slate bricks parallel to the island. Then in the center, there's a ring of deep slate tiles. No, that looks really bad. Instead of building it diagonally, I'll build it sideways, which leaves a big empty space here. So I'll build one of those big tower things there to fill space and hopefully make it look less weird. The ancient city has a ring of wall around the portal, so I'll do the same for my tiny one. Now there's an empty space here, so I'll build a tower and a path. And add skulk sensors and shriekers to make this place way louder than it needs to be. So that's the island portion of the build complete, but we're not finished yet because we still need to make the generators and terraform the main island. Normally the emerald and diamond generators are beside the islands, but I don't have space so I'll be making the generators on top. I'll add some diamond ore around the island, and if you're still not convinced I'm rich, I'll add some diamond blocks too. On top I'll add a floating diamond block, and that's the diamond generator done. And if we look over there, boom. The emerald generator is done too. The other two generators will be unique, so here's a copper generator, and the last one is going to be made of netherite, because like I said, I am rich. And that's all the generators done, so we can now focus on the main island. Ooh, I keep forgetting to line up my builds. Wait, if I put trapdoors here, yeah, they just walk off. For the middle of the island, I'm going to combine every single island biome we've made into a biome pie. Uh, a pie-ome? The plains biome is over here, so on this part I'll make a tiny villager house. Outside I'll make a path that leads to a uh, off the cliff. In the desert I'll have a desert well and I'll put water inside because it's a well. Then at the side I'll add some sand like this to make it blend into the plains biome. This one will be a crimson forest and that's the crimson biome. Not again. The warped biome is going to be the same as the crimson one, just blue. Oh. What on earth is this monstrosity? Next up is the end biome, and I have something special planned. So if I take some deep state coal ore and make a ring, then fill up the bottom with black concrete and have a glass layer on top. Yeah, that looks super cool. For the mesa biome, I'll have orange sand for the ground, but over here I'll make a small camping setup because, I don't know, it looks cool. An ancient city has several watchtowers, so I'll make one here too. I won't cover it in streakers yet because it gets insanely loud. And finally for the coral biome, I had half a shipwreck in the tank there, so over here I'll make the other half of the shipwreck. And that's the biome portion of the center complete, but we're not finished yet because we still need to connect the build at the middle. I'm going to be making a tree in the center, so I'll make a circle of dark oak slabs, then deep slate tiles, and in the middle I'll have spruce. I saw this idea online for a cool void look where I placed lava at the bottom then a bunch of glass on top. Before I show you the center ring, I want to completely finish the build, so it's time to make the tree. It'll be a custom one with a twisting chunk leading up to Isaiah leaves. And that is perfect, we just need to add some final touches. Yeah, this place looks super cool. Took me several weeks, but whoa, the finished build makes everything worth it. So my spawn is looking a lot better, but there's still this big empty space. Seems like the perfect place for my next big project. 